I started a wider bridge because I believe Israel is the most important project of the Jewish people. A wider bridge engages in Israel advocacy that is personal rather than political. The three major pillars of our work revolve around personal interaction and experience. It's connecting between communities and the best way to connect is coming to Israel, seeing the situation as it is, analyzing it, creating processes, creating dialogues, creating thoughts. We take LGBT leaders on 10-day missions to Israel so they can see firsthand what LGBT life is like there. A wider bridge works with a lot of platforms. They make it in delegations between Israel to United States and United States to Israel. Our work is about giving people an opportunity to fall in love with Israel, to see the beauty of the country, to see that there are people in Israel that they really care about. I think it was uh, insightful also for transgender people to meet the transgender community here in Israel, to hear about how our life is here in Israel, and also for people who are not transgender to, to learn a bit more about transgender issues in general. What you get from being a part of this trip is an opportunity to relate to people that are different from you, who you have so much in common with, but who can te teach you new things about the world. Writer Bridge has helped me to come and see things for myself and to come and see that the people here are real and to understand um, what they are facing or what they are going through. We've learned about the history of the country, we've learned about the political situation here, and also the climate for LGBT community here and it's been a phenomenal trip. I'm gonna take so much of what I've learned back home. I love the fact that the Wired Bridge is trying to explore equality and love abroad and using Israel as a hub to do that. And I wanted to be connected to that. This mix of ancient culture and modern striving has been a fascinating experience. I think I found a home and that's a very exciting feeling. I just love being able to be open with these people and relax and not feel like I have to put on a front or hide. I am thrilled to be here on this uh, wonderful tour of the Wider Bridge. It's enlightening, it's educational. There was no judgment, it didn't matter, gay, straight, bi, trans, anything. We were just all together as family, as friends. Uh, it was just really beautiful to be a part of that. I really fell in love with the people, the land, um, the history. For most trip participants, these trips are described as transformative experiences. And we don't want that to end at Ben Gurion Airport on the way home. I think that when a wider bridge brings somebody like me to the US, enables me to talk to these people, and enables them to hear me, I think that there is a connection. When I went there, I felt like I was exposed to so much LGBT activism I could learn from and also teach. It was an opportunity to meet uh, people and activists uh, from the LGBT community, the Jewish LGBT community that I wouldn't have met otherwise and that was very wonderful. We share a common desire to lead full, whole, authentic lives. We also bring elected officials and civic leaders like out members of Knesset to talk about their life in the parliament. And we bring artists and musicians to demonstrate their work and talk about their personal lives as LGBT Israelis. Why the Bridge spread knowledge about Israel and about LGBT life in Israel. Why the Bridge makes this information available and I'm very happy to contribute as much as I can and be part of it. The last major component of our work is our online magazine platform at awiderbridge.org. Our tens of thousands of readers from North America, Israel, and all around the world stay connected to Israel and its LGBT community. The many platforms of a wider bridge, the magazine and the tours and the people coming vi to visit actually strengthens the, all the communities. As we bring North Americans and Israelis together, people see that there is no contradiction between progressive values and having a deep and meaningful relationship with Israel. What began as a San Francisco-based effort in 2010 has grown into an international organization, moving from conversation to connection to today a true movement, a movement of LGBT people choosing to engage meaningfully with the state of Israel and its LGBT citizens. I love Israel!